Welcome to video 43 in series 3, and in this video I'll implement the panel instructions UI. Right, so I'm going to make a UI that uh, fills the space in the upper left corner, giving the player some instructions, a welcome message, and then uh, an image showing the controls. And I've made this image already and brought it in, made it a 2D and UI type. And you go ahead and make up your own. I just made it in PowerPoint and then I just saved it out as a PNG. And you can do the same thing or you could use a paint program. But anyhow, I'll keep going ahead and start setting up this um, panel. So I'll add a UI panel and I'll call it Panel Instructions. All right. I want it to be anchored in the top left, so I had best change that. And I can't reposition at the moment, doesn't make sense, because it's already filling up the screen. So I'll make it 1200 by like 900. Now I'll reposition it. Good. I'll change the color uh, to something really dark. So 20, 20, 200. I think that'll be, that'll be alright. Okay, uh, now I'll add in a text, which will be the banner at the top. And it's going to say uh, instructions. And I'll make it best fit. Change the color to white. Uh, center it as well. And I'm going to make it stretch across the top. I'll reposition it as well. I'll change the height to 100. Again, reposition that. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, header done. Okay, next thing I need is a scroll view. So a UI. Uh, scroll view. Right, for the scroll view, I want it to fill all of the space and just leave the header alone. So I'll, I'll fit it to the bottom, stretch it and fit it to the bottom. Anchor it down there. Change the height to like 800. Again, reposition that. Done. Uh, I don't want it to be uh, horizontal scrolling, only vertical. I'll change the color. A bit lighter than uh, the um, panel itself. So it stands apart. Okay, good. That's all right. Uh, now I'll go inside of it and start adding some content. So I'll add in a text and I'll add in the image. Now you already know from the uh, inventory uh, uh, case, so the panel inventory, it doesn't like uh, scroll, make it scrollable for you automatically. You need a content size fitter. And what in, in this case, because my elements, my GUI elements will be of different sizes, I can't use the grid layout group. Instead, I'm going to add individual layout elements and then have a vertical layout group. So I'll go ahead and add in a text, first of all. Um, I'll just quickly write in a message here saying like, welcome to GTGDS3. And I'll just put in here a note, uh, press escape to toggle this menu. All right, and I'll change the color to white, make it best fit, and just leave it for now. Uh, I mean, if I made it like 200, you can see it a lot clearer and make it 900 wide, but that's manually setting it. Actually, why don't I just do that for a moment? Let me quickly add in the image, uh, just change the size. Well, first of all, I'll add in the sprite, uh, preserve aspect ratio, make it a lot bigger, say 1000 uh, by like 900. Okay, good. And just bring that down to like here, for example. You can see it's sticking out. And now if I uh, just get rid of this for a moment, disable and hit play, you'll see the problem straight away. There's no scroll bar. And you know that already that you need a content size fitter. But before that, uh, these uh, GUI elements, they need a layout element component attached to them. So I'll do that now. So I'll go to my uh, text here and add in a layout element. Perfect. I'm going to give it a minimum width and a minimum height. Uh, and I'll say like the minimum width is 1000, for example. And uh, I'll give it a minimum height of say 200. You can see it already taking uh, effect there. I can, I can increase that too if I felt like it, but uh, no need to at the moment. Well, sorry, no, it's not taking effect yet. Not till I add the vertical layout group. Okay, then for the uh, image itself, um, let me add in a layout element. So nothing's going to happen till I actually use a, a layout group. Uh, the min width, uh, I'll also say like 1000, minimum height like 600 perhaps. 
And now I'll go over to the content uh, game object and add in a vertical layout group. Okay, so there now you see it sorting it out for us. Uh, I do want padding. I'll put in 20, 20, 20, 20, and put in spacing of 20, just like that. Uh, what else? Something doesn't look quite right. I can see that there's an overlap. Perhaps I'll just drag it down. Can I do that? Perhaps not. So what what else can I do? Can I do that maybe? Nope. I'll I know what to do. I'll change the size of the text. Maybe set it back to 200. And perhaps when I hit play, it'll sort some stuff out. Uh, yeah, that is actually correct now. Good. So it is actually uh, correctly positioned, which is excellent. Uh, but that's still not going to work. So if I disable this for a moment, hit play, you'll see again it's not scrollable. And uh, well, I mean scrollable, but there's no scroll bar, and it doesn't stay when you uh, go try to bring it up. It doesn't say it springs back thinking that the content size is only that much, which it isn't. So I need a uh, content size fitter. So coming back here, I'll put in a content size fitter. Vertical fit preferred. Good. It's making it better now. And uh, I'd say uh, I can probably go ahead and uh, I think I can make that smaller. I'm going to make it smaller. 150. So it doesn't take up as much space. The image doesn't need to be so tall, I'm pretty sure. Probably can go to 500. And if I hit play, it will just size it to whatever works best. And now if I disable that, hit play. Okay, good. It's working. Fantastic. So you can see that uh, the instructions are there. So you can see what I've used those uh, various components for. When you have a UI where there's different size components inside of it, different size UI elements, then uh, you need a layout group, a layout element, sorry, uh, so that you can specify the size for that layout, uh, for that element, and then for each of them, and then you use the vertical layout group, and then the content size fitter, and it all works perfectly. So that way you can have any size objects inside of your UI and you're not trying to use a grid layout group which is really 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 good actually it makes things very easy okay so that is the instruction panels done uh, but there's a problem let me show you it so let's go back get that uh, test game over script it was here yep good just drag it on I'll hit play again get into the game if I press my O button, game over. Oh, there's a problem. Look, the game over message is under underneath. I mean, I could move the game over past the panel instructions. I, I certainly can do that. I'll show you that right now. Uh, that's That would work as well. I can do that. Hit play. Jump in. Okay, so yeah, the game over is on top. But it doesn't look nice. I don't want this panel instructions to show... Uh, when the player reaches game over. So in the next video, I will uh, write a small script that will get rid of the panel instructions when the game over happens. Okay, so, uh, and that's pretty good. I'll leave that there for the next video, that test game over script. Anyway, thanks for watching and keep on going onwards.